What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today we're going to do another one of the little wrecked swipe deals. We're using some blues and then some reds, yellows, orange, a little bit of metallics in there. Let's get right into it. So first we're going to drop our base coat. Our base coat is a titanium white from Artisoft. I'm going to try to get as much out of here as we can because I feel like I don't want to mix any more white if I don't have to. So let's get out as much of this white as we can. Very excited for this one. I don't know why, but I've been gravitating towards this kind of a fire and ice color palette recently. All right, so we got this, right? That should be plenty of paint, I would think in a perfect world, right? All right, so the colors we're working with today are Blue Viper, which is awesome. Ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, light blue permanent. Also a blood orange was a mixture between a fluorescent yellow and a cadmium red. We have a fluorescent yellow orange, fluorescent yellow, and a gold. We have a black cell act there that we're gonna be putting over this white paint at first. And that is where we're going right now. Might need to restock on my little paper towels for this, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this cell activator on the blade of the spatula. Some of you are asking where I got the spatula from. I got it from Blix here in Detroit. Every once in a while I'll go ghost the halls of an art store and look for something that might be kind of cool. And I happen to find this, which I'm very happy with. All right. So let's get our swipes on there. All right, there's swipe number one. I kind of did dig the trowel of the paint tool into the paint, but that's all right. All right, let's do number two. All right. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? It is still windy here in Detroit. You probably can hear the building about to shake down all around me. But you know what, at least if that did happen, I'm painting, so I'm happy. All right. Another swipe, swipe. There we go. And we will move into our last little swipe, which I think I'll put on this edge. And luckily, I don't need a whole lot of cell activator to do what I do. So I'll just take, oh, look at that. I did the same thing. I dripped some white into the black. What the heck? Where'd that even come from? We will deal. All right, let me grab me a popsicle stick and try to get that out. That's crazy. You know what, I might just mix it in. That little bit of white's gonna get eaten by that black anyway. All right, so crisis averted. All right, so let's start opening up these colors. This blue Viper is kind of, it's a special order mica powder that I got from Dianca Pores. When I was doing my geodes, she was kind of a big inspiration. And I did order some of her products because they were glorious looking. And that's what we're working with today, one of those. I'm very excited for this. I'm, gonna, I'm going for more of a symmetrical look to this one today. So, let me grab some popsicle sticks. Now, the, the mica powder is noticeably thinner than the other paint colors. So, hopefully, that does not interfere with what we're going for. I don't think it will, really. All right, so I know what I want. Well, let's see if what I want can be 
put on going for a very like symmetrical look but I do want these pops of metallics in there and I'm putting the metallic first in the line of colors because I want it to at least drag that shimmer over the other blues so maybe we can get some cells within cells kind of going on at least that's the hope all right so now our cobalt blue look at this blue very beautiful Making nice lines, kind of. I'm applying not a, a generous amount of paint. I probably could put more, but I want the lines to be subtle. Okay, so now there's this ultramarine blue. It's just slightly lighter than the blue we just put down. It may even be just barely even noticeable on the camera. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you can even see the color difference. I know from where I'm at, I can tell it's different. And then light blue permanent, which is a very distinct difference between the others. Kind of skimped that little line there a little bit. We're going to add a little bit more to it. There we go. All right. I'm already loving what these colors look like together. All right, so the idea is these two lines are going to wrap around each other. These hotter colors are going to kind of offer a little bit of, like, they come in a little bit, but they don't overlap. So, I'm wondering how I can manage that. Let's see. Same premise. We're going to use the metal. So this is a high viscosity gold from Pebio. I'm going to use a decent amount of this stuff. And over here as well. Now, if you see the way I'm laying out the, I'm laying out the colors, I'm leaving a pocket. So this one can trail off and not hit it. This one can trail off, not hit it. And then these can kind of do what they're going to do on the outskirts. There's gold. And we got our really bold red. Very bold. Same thing, I don't want to skimp too much. I want these colors to kind of continue on throughout the rest of the piece. I don't mind them trailing off at a certain point, but I do want them to start bold and strong. All right, fluorescent orange. It's got kind of almost a peach hue to it, which is Pretty cool, actually. Oh, we dripped, but we missed. All right. I'm already noticing some weird interactions between this red and the orange. So, we'll see. Shouldn't be a problem. And then we got our fluorescent yellow here. Some beautifully bright, bright yellow. stands off that white background really well. Probably shouldn't be touching the paint with the stick, but I'm trying to like coax the line to be a little bit wider. All right, well, we are just about there. Grab my handy dandy little piece of plastic. 
And then we are gonna, oh, hold on. Where we dripped that white, now it's still kind of muddying it a little bit, but there we go, we'll fix that real quick. Just give it a quick little mix. The cell activator is so thin that I don't really gotta concern myself with bubbles in it. Yes, please. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's glorious. I love that. And then we're gonna get a mirror image on this end. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the blue carried through even further on that one than it did on that. Which I'll be able to look at the video after the fact and kind of determine how did that happen and adjust. All right, so, all right, so. I'm gonna kind of swipe it down and then wrap. Ooh, that red and yellow. I like that. And we can just do the same thing down here. Get some really cool effects and lines going on. You guys, that's beautiful. Cap up the cell activator. Don't want any accidental drips that on that one. All right, so I'm seeing the middle. I feel like I do want to want to touch up the paints just a little. It's okay. This is all getting spun off anyway. But I want to use this, just like this white, to kind of get it started, you know? Because once we spin it, these spots without any paint at all will have such a hard time moving around. And I'm just trying to help it along. That's really all you can do. I think it'd be really cool to kind of bring this gold, like you can see the gold cells in there. Kind of want to bring that red and yellow kind of down, but we're going to start in the white. Yeah, right there. off the, the needle here and just do the same thing on this end start on the white come through come through, come through. beautiful Some subtle, just subtle details. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Some little, tiny details. I feel like this blue is a little bit more pronounced, so I'm just gonna do this one again. And do this one again now. I love it. I think we're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I am so ready. So, a nice light spin. It's kind of just get these colors to just move a little bit. I love how we have the convergence right there in the center. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Please. 
I like that a lot. Not thrilled about that area right there, but I don't have any normal white paint. I really don't, do I? I do want it to continue over the edge there. And since it's dry, it can't, so. This is thinner than what's on there right now. Um, but I think I'm going to try to get it just so that it sp spins it off. I don't want to lose any of the red and yellow. I like that a lot. And there we go. I think that's what we have. I love that. All right, all the ways these colors kind of interacted with each other is really cool. I am a little upset I didn't have enough white. So I had to kind of use a different type of white. So that was this corner here. Hopefully it doesn't dry weird, crack or craze, but we'll see. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.